गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग सर ओके स्विच ऑन योर वीडियो ओके is the screen visible for all is the screen visible yes sir okay today we are going to discuss about electromagnetic induction okay in physics electromagnetic induction that is the topic of the lesson okay so what do you think about that topic do you have any idea do you have any idea about electromagnetic induction yes say sir no hello is it audible sri hari sri hari is there sir no sir no ah is it audible yes sir okay so uh, what is mean by electromagnetic induction and the uh, <coughs> some students are coming okay what is uh, electromagnetic induction and uh, uh, the main concept of electromagnetic induction and why it is needed okay so this kind of uh, topics we have to discuss in this chapter okay that is the first thing is electromagnetic induction okay electromagnetic induction right Vijay, switch on your video. Yeah, see, so that uh, the first thing, okay. This chapter, the first main idea about that, okay, electromagnetic induction, okay. In this chapter, first we have to know about that a term that is EMF, okay. What is that? emf okay emf is nothing but electromotive force okay emf is nothing but what we say electromotive force so electromotive force is that uh, for example we just take a conductor yeah just to take a conductor see we consider a conductor okay so a b is a conductor okay so in this conductor the electrons are flow from this way okay electrons are flow from this way that is uh, b to a okay from b to a the electrons are moving from b to a that means here we have to connect a battery then okay we have to connect a battery then okay you know that the current flows from positive terminal to negative terminal yes or no that is positive terminal negative terminal the direction of electric current is always positive to negative okay but the electron flow from negative to positive okay electron flows from negative to positive okay from this case the electrons are not continuously moving okay in a conductor the electrons are not continuously moving okay so we have to apply some force or energy to move the electrons continuously okay 
to move the electrons continuously we have to apply some external energy so this external energy is known as emf okay this external energy is known as what we say emf okay is it clear that is the main idea about this. electromotive force okay when a charge flows through a cell it is given by the energy okay it is given energy by the cell okay so the number of joules of energy given to each coulomb of charge that means the energy is given to the charged particles they are like electrons okay so the energy is given to the electrons so the electron move continuously in a conductor so this external energy is known as electromotive force simply we say emf okay is it clear the students is it clear that hello clear. okay vijay understood okay what about sri lakshmi is it clear ma yes sir okay see so that is the first main idea about that emf okay emf is nothing but electromotive force it is one kind of energy only okay it is one kind of external energy okay external energy okay next so just to note that uh, the abbreviation and also definition for that emf please note it and we go to the next one okay so the energy is given to any charged particle okay energy is given to any charged particle through the cell that is known as emf okay that is represented as capital e okay emf is represented as capital e okay capital e is known as emf okay the next thing so here energy is given to the charge okay energy is given to the charged particles then okay emf is nothing but the potential difference okay emf and the potential difference are slightly changed okay slightly changed so emf equal to what we say that is voltage simply we say emf is equal to voltage okay hmm see here okay so in this case the first main idea about that okay we just uh, go to the topic okay so the topic name is emf okay e emf okay emf is nothing but uh, electromagnetic induction okay emf emi means the topic name is electro okay magnetic induction that means when a conductor okay when a conductor is moving in a magnetic field okay when a conductor is moving in a magnetic field or by changing the magnetic field electric field is created okay by changing the magnetic field okay electric field is created that we have to discuss one by one okay so that principle is known as what we say here a conductor is moving across a magnetic field or by changing the magnetic field linked with the conductor can induce emf in the conductor okay so by changing the magnetic field okay electric field is created okay here electric field means electromotive force okay is it clear next see is it clear all of you the first slide all of you understood ma we have any doubt no okay see the next one okay so from this concept we have to take okay we can explain about that uh, by using some activities okay the first thing is okay so a conductor moving across a magnetic field okay a conductor is moving across a magnetic field that means here okay for example we have we have to take a conductor okay 
for example most of the metals are conductors okay examples for metals is yes. examples for metals copper ah uh, copper aluminum okay iron silver gold there are so many metals are that nature 55 more than 55 metals are in nature okay here we have to take a metal for any kind of metals are a conductors okay carrying current yes or no conductors carrying current and also uh, whenever the current carrying conductor a magnetic field is produced okay around the conductor are a metals okay magnetic field is also produced so the metals are a good conductors okay so here electric field is also there so we have to take a wire first thing is a piece of wire okay a piece of wire so a piece of wire act as a conductor okay a piece of wire act as a conductor so the next one is we have to take a bar magnet okay we have to take a bar magnet uh, already you know that about the different types of magnet like a surround magnet horseshoe magnet electromagnet okay yes or no so bar magnet is nothing but okay just to see the picture that is called bar magnet in the bar magnet contains two poles okay north pole and also south pole okay that is a bar magnet okay north pole and south pole it, may, it has a two kinds of poles okay so that is a bar magnet the bar magnet produces a magnetic field okay see from the piece of wire electric field is created okay electric field is created by using bar magnet okay magnetic field is created is it clear is it clear or not so by using that okay the topic of the lesson is okay here by changing magnetic field okay by changing magnetic field electric field is created okay by changing magnetic field electric field is created electric field is created that means emf is uh, produced okay here what we get emf is produced see by changing magnetic field okay electric field is created electric field is created that means here emf is produced okay emf is nothing but the potential difference okay so whenever the potential is developed then electric current is also produced okay is it clear dear yes, students is it clear or not do you have any doubt no sir clear okay okay so by changing magnetic field electric field is created so a potential developed due to that a producing emf okay so a current is formed this current is called this principle is called electromagnetic induction okay this current is known as induced current okay this current is called induced current okay induced current okay and this emf is called induced emf okay and this phenomenon of producing okay the phenomenon of producing an induced emf is known as electromagnetic induction okay so the definition is mainly the phenomenon of producing induced emf by changing magnetic field okay by changing magnetic field linked with the conductor okay by changing magnetic field linked with the conductor so this principle is known as electromagnetic induction okay electromagnetic induction is it clear for all students akshaya is it clear ma akshaya is there yes sir able to understand yes sir okay shrihari absolutely is it clear okay so the next thing okay have you noted one minute sir okay okay do it
Completed. Okay. All of you completed. Next, see. So that is the definition of electromagnetic index. And okay, the production of an induced EMF. Okay, the production of an EMF by changing the magnetic field. Okay, by changing the magnetic field, EMF is produced. Okay. So this principle is called electromagnetic index. And okay, electromagnetic index. And okay. See, had you completed? Completed all? Okay. Next one, okay. See that uh, picture, okay. In this uh, picture, represents about that okay induced emf okay In this picture represents about that induced emf okay see that uh, so that is a electric there is a there are two poles are there north pole and also south pole is there okay that's in golden it is connected okay that is a conductor okay so in this conductor okay we have to take there is a one is a conductor Another one is a magnetic field, okay? So by changing magnetic field, that is a, these lines are called magnetic lines. These lines are called what we say? Magnetic lines, okay? Magnetic lines of force. So the you know that the magnetic lines always starts from North Pole to South Pole, yes or no? The magnetic lines starts from North Pole to South Pole, okay? And uh, by adjusting the magnet, that is the first thing, okay? By adjusting the bar magnet. How can we adjust the bar magnet? There is a coil is there, okay? That is a coil is there, okay? There is one coil then, okay? Just to take a bar magnet. That is North Pole, that is South Pole, okay? Uh, the bar magnet is moved towards the coil or away from the coil. There are two conditions are there, okay? By changing the magnetic field, that means magnetic lines changes, okay? That may be increase or decrease, okay? So by adjusting the magnet, we have to change the magnetic field, okay? So here, moving the wire downwards through the magnet induces an EMF, okay? So here, by changing the magnetic field, okay? By changing the magnetic field, Electric field is created, okay? Electric field is created means here EMF is produced, okay? Due to the EMF, a current is produced, okay? Due to the EMF, a current is produced. So whenever the current flows through a conductor, the galvanometer shows deflection, okay? The galvanometer is a device used to detect the electric current, okay? Whenever the current entering into the circuit, the galvanometer shows deflection, okay? So here, EMF is produced and current is formed, so galvanometer shows a deflection, okay? Is it clear? Okay. Please note the points. Please note the valuable points if you need.
Shall we go to the next one? Okay, all of you completed. So that symbol indicates that is a deflection. Okay, yeah. So here, ammeter, voltmeter, and galvanometer. Okay, having the symbol. So the symbol uh, represents that the device makes deflection. Okay. Next thing is, so the moving wire is upward or downward. Okay, for any kind of case, okay, the moving wire is placed upward or downward. For any kind of case, the galvanometer shows a deflection. Okay, right? Suppose the, the first case, the galvanometer shows the deflection in one direction means the second case, it uh, shows deflection in opposite direction. Okay. Opposite direction means, uh, for example, the first case, the galvanometer shows the deflection, deflection in this way, then okay. That is in this way. The another type, the galvanometer shows the deflection in opposite direction. Okay. So that is the main idea. Okay. Next thing. Okay. Is it clear? The students, is it clear? Okay. So here, the next very, very important thing, okay. Producing an induced EMF by different methods, okay. First thing, the induced EMF can be increased by. The first thing is, the wire is moving faster. Moving the wire faster, that is the first thing, okay. Second one is, by using a stronger magnetic field. Okay, by using a stronger magnetic field. And the third one is, we have to increase the length of the wire. Okay, length of the wire is increased. Or we have to use uh, the wire having large number of turns. Okay, so these are the three conditions are there. Okay, by increasing the induced EMF, by using, moving the wire faster. Okay. Moving the wire faster means its velocity is increases. Velocity changes. Okay. Yeah. Increasing their velocity. Second one is by using a stronger magnetic field. So magnetic field is taken as capital B. Okay. Yeah. Capital B, the magnetic field, we have to make the magnetic field very strong. Okay. Third one is increasing the length of the wire. Okay. Increasing the length of the wire so in these three conditions we have to increase the induced emf okay is it clear so please note the points and we go to the next one please note these points these three points you have to note Have you completed? All of you completed? Next thing, okay. So this principle, okay, this electromagnetic principle was introduced by Michael Faraday, okay. Michael Faraday, okay. So from this, uh, Michael Faraday, formulated some laws about electromagnetic induction okay so the first thing is see 
the emf okay the emf is written as capital e okay or small e also okay capital e or small e so the emf induced in a conductor is proportional to the magnetic field okay per unit time that means uh, the rate at which magnetic lines are cut by the conductor okay that means here e directly proportional to okay the emf is directly proportional to d phi by dt okay so that is phi okay that that name is phi okay phi is a greek symbol okay phi is nothing but that is called magnetic flux okay phi is called magnetic flux magnetic flux means okay the total number of magnetic lines in a given area okay that is called magnetic flux okay phi equal to b dot a okay phi equal to what we get b dot a where capital b is the magnetic field a area of cross section of the conductor okay so from this what we get here that is a conductor means okay that is one conductor is there okay that is one conductor means this conductor okay the total cross sectional area that is a okay and the magnetic field acting in this uh, conductor that is called capital b okay so the total number of magnetic lines of force for a given area that is known as phi okay magnetic flux the total number of magnetic lines represents magnetic field okay at a particular cross sectional area so magnetic flux by time so here the emf is proportional to the rate of magnetic lines of force crossing through the given area okay crossing through the given area of the conductor so please note that point that is the faraday's laws okay faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction the first law is here that is first law okay please note it and just note this point also okay do it Had he completed? Shall you go to the next slide, all of you? Next day. See. So, by increasing the induced emf okay by using two different methods are there okay by increasing that uh, emf by using different methods one is the velocity changes 
another one is the magnetic field changes third one is the length changes okay next thing is uh, magnetic field changes okay for magnetic field changes there are two options okay magnetic field changes there is two options okay move the wire in a magnetic field there is a first thing is move the wire in a magnetic field okay the next one is move the magnet in a coil of wire so what is the difference between these two vijay vijay sir what is the difference between the first one and second one sir second one is a solenoid sir okay good that is a solenoid coil okay there is a a coil is having a number of turns are there okay this kind of structure is known as solenoid okay this kind of structure is known as solenoid okay a solenoid is a rectangular coil okay having large number of turns or winding okay that is act as a solenoid okay so in this solenoid we have to fix the bar magnet okay we have to fix the bar magnet inside the coil that is the first case that is the second one okay right inside the coil we have to fix the bar magnet okay we have to fix the bar magnet so by changing induced emf by producing an induced emf that is the second method okay first method is okay between bar magnets okay between bar magnets we have to fix the coil okay that is on bar magnet there is a that is a north pole there is a south pole means okay in this we have to fix a coil okay we have to fix the coil between the bar magnets between the magnetic field okay so here what happened that is magnetic lines changes by rotating the coil the coil is whenever the coil is rotated okay magnetic field changes so whenever the magnetic field changes emf is produced and current is also produced so electromagnetic induction takes place that is the first case okay second case mm, the coil is okay from the coil the current is produced yes or no the current is passed through the coil okay because it is a conductor so we have to uh, a magnetic field is placed inside the coil that means okay here magnetic flux also changes magnetic flux changes means number of magnetic lines changes so uh, by changing the magnetic field electric field is created that means emf is produced so electromagnetic induction also takes place in the second case is it clear is it clear for all hello it is clear or not do you have any doubt vijay no sri lakshmi do you have any able to understand yes sir okay next uh, akshaya sri hari is it clear so please note yes. the two points yeah okay so please note the diagram also and we go to the next one
Had he completed? All of you completed? Okay, done. We go to the next one. See the picture, okay? So the bar magnet is pushed inside or outside the coil, okay? There are two conditions, okay? Bar magnet is moved towards the coil or away from the coil, okay? We have to produce induced EMF, okay? We have to produce induced EMF by moving the bar magnet inside the coil or outside the coil, okay? Inside or outside. There are two conditions are there. Move towards the coil or away from the coil. We have to produce induced EMF, okay? Away from the coil means the galvanometer shows the deflection in opposite direction. See the picture. So the deflection is in one direction. First case, the deflection in one direction. The second case, the deflection in opposite direction. Okay, right? Is it clear for all? Okay, note it. Note it and we go to the next one. Completed? So here, the third one. The number of turns increases. Okay. The number of uh, turns in a coil changes. Then induced EMF is also increases. That is another one. Okay. Here, moving the magnet faster, okay? Uh, when the bar magnet is moving towards the coil or away from the coil faster, okay? Then induced EMF is produced. Completed? Next day. Had you finished all of you? Okay. Next thing is, okay. So induced current, we know that, okay. Induced current, it is clear that that is a, by changing magnetic field, okay. Or by changing magnetic field flux linked with the coil, okay. EMF is produced uh, and the current is known as induced current and the phenomenon is called, we say, electromagnetic induction, okay. Now, my question is, uh, what is the difference between AC and also DC? There are two types of current in nature, okay? Alternative current and also direct current. So, what is the main difference between AC and also DC? 
can you see anyone what is ac and what is dc shri lakshmi i don't know sir. don't know okay see next vijay don't know no, sir. okay see that okay alternative current and also direct current okay see for example we have to take that okay direct current means uh, it moves in a single direction okay there is a unidirectional current is known as a direct current okay uni directional unidirectional means single direction okay that is a direct current okay alternating current means okay we have to take a wave form okay see uh the car the direction of current is like this way so one maximum and one minimum one maximum and one minimum so every half cycle that is on complete cycle means here that is on complete rotation or work on complete revolution or cycle okay one complete cycle contains one maximum and one minimum okay so every half cycle the direction changes so that is called alternating okay the direction of current is always alternating in nature okay alternating in nature so that current is known as alternating current or direct current okay simple example is okay uh, you can connect the iron box with the plug point directly Yes or no? Right. You can connect the iron box directly with the plug point, not with a stabilizer or anything. Yes or no? Say yes or no. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Because of the reason, the uh, iron box uh, takes more current, so we have to connect directly only. So that is a direct current. Okay. alternating current means the current is generated from the sub power station that is the first thing is sub power station okay sub power station to the transformer okay transformer to the post post to that uh, electric distribution box okay electric distribution box to various rooms of your home yes sir no so there are different uh, uh, mediators are there here okay so that kind of current is known as alternating current okay our domestic purpose is always alternating current okay right so the alternating current is used in most of the domestic and also industrial purpose worldwide that is that alternating current okay we can't use direct current for all kind of uh, functions okay if it is used then electric shock may be produced due to the direct current that is a first idea okay one is unidirectional okay that is uh, bidirectional okay here alternating current is always changes its direction alternatively okay alternatively change its direction okay right is it clear students see so for example direct current first thing is direct current okay dc simply we say dc a battery produces a direct current positive to negative only yes or no the current flows in the battery okay through one directions batteries solar cells are example for direct current okay is it clear is it clear about direct current 
all of you the students all of you understood okay yes. good good next day suppose okay so that uh, flowing through the current uh, due to the electrons only yes sir no rate of flow of uh, electric current is known electric electrons are called electric current okay so that uh, the flow of electrons are monitored by cro okay that is a simple picture about cro okay that is a graph only cro is an instrument okay cro is an instrument used to measuring the path of electric current or uh, measuring the trace of a cathode rays cathode ray oscilloscope okay that is a cathode ray oscilloscope is that cro okay the, by using a cro okay the in the direct current path is always a straight line so there is no deflection in the path so direct current means there is a single direction only okay the current flows in a single direction only okay so the path of the current is always a straight line path of the current is always a straight line only in the cro okay is it clear please note it and we go to the next one Shall we move the slide? Okay. Next one, okay. Alternating current, okay. Alternating current changes its direction constantly, okay. That is alternating current, okay. Alternating current changes its direction constantly, okay. That is in India, okay. Alternating current depends upon that, okay. Uh, 50 hertz. 50 hertz is the alternating frequency. Okay, alternating frequency is 50 hertz. And uh, alternating voltage is 220 volt. You may see in your electric distribution box, okay, that is uh, given by 50 hertz 220 volt is there, okay just to see that uh, alternating voltage that is ac voltage in india okay in india that is what we say 50 hertz and 220 volt okay is accepted in uk that is 230 volt united kingdom that is 230 volt and 50 hertz okay here in this alternating current is passed through that uh, CRO, okay, CRO, CRO means, what is CRO? Hello? Sri Hari? Sri Hari? Uh, yeah, what, is, what is CRO? Sir, I no idea. Good. No idea, wa. That is what? What is CRO? Cathode ray oscilloscope. Cathode ray oscilloscope. Okay. Yeah. See, so through in a CRO, okay, the direction of current, the direction of alternating current, okay, changes its direction 50 times per second. So you have to imagine, okay, per second, okay, 
50 times the current change its direction. Okay, understood? So this is the picture. That is the direction in one direction. That is a negative direction. That is positive. That is negative. That is also positive. Okay. So each and every half cycle. Okay. Half cycle means that is one half cycle. That is one half cycle. That is another half cycle. So half plus half equal to one. So one complete cycle is nothing but here only. That is one complete cycle. Okay. Or that is one complete cycle. Yes or no? That is another one. Okay. So uh, every second, the direction of current changes 50 times its direction. Okay. The direction changes 50 times in alternating current. Okay. Is it clear about uh, AC and also DC now? All of you noted. Okay. Had you completed all of you? Next day, completed. Akshay completed? Yes, sir. Okay, see. Next, we have to discuss about, okay, a coil is rotating, okay, or uh, we have to discuss about uh, generator, electric generator, okay, electric generator, just to see that uh, picture one by one, okay, the first thing is, see, electric, so-called alternator, that means, Alternating current generator. Okay, that is the expansion is alternating current generator is also known as alternator. Okay. So the main principle about AC generator is okay. Mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. Okay. Mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. Okay. So the main, that is a generator, okay. Generator, okay. In a generator, a coil is rotated and the electrical energy is produced, okay.
Hello. Hey, students, is it audible? Yes. Okay, sorry for this. this uh, some problem in it. See? Had you understood understood about that electromagnetic induction? Hello. Is it clear? Is it clear the concept about electromagnetic induction for all? Hello. Understood. What about Vijay? Vijay, switch on your video. Okay. Uh, in AC generator, the same principle is used. Okay. Electromagnetic induction principle is used in AC uh, generator. Okay. Uh, and also electric motor also the same principle is used. So what is the difference between what is the difference between electric generator and also electric motor? Any idea? Electric generator and electric motor. What is the idea? Yes. Hello. What is the difference between electric generator and electric motor? Pa? No idea. Wa. Electric generator producing electric current. Okay. Yeah. Electric generator producing electric current. Okay. But electric motor, when we give electric current, then only it will run. Yes or no? Yes. So first one is uh, electric motor. Okay. Electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy in motor. Okay. Electrical energy Electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy, okay? In motor, okay? In motor. But in a generator, mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy in generator, okay? That is the main idea about electric motor and also electric generator. Okay, electric generator. Is it clear? Hey, students, is it clear for all? Okay. So, it's time. See, so next class we have to discuss about the, the, that electric generator. Okay, so how uh, electric uh, electromagnetic induction is used in okay different uh, instruments or different devices like as AC generator, okay, AC motor, and transformer also. Okay, the same principle is used in electromagnetic induction. And also, uh, the main applications about a uh, alternative current. Also, we have to discuss next class. Okay, thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.